Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about tail swing, tail swing accidents, and how to prevent having a tail swing accident. Now your tail swing is defined as the distance from your rear tire to your rear bumper. So all that space that hangs off the back of your truck behind your rear tire, that is your tail swing on your truck. So what happens is whenever you make a turn in your vehicle, the tail of your truck swings in the opposite direction. So if you make a left turn, your tail swing goes out to the right, if you make a right turn, your tail swing goes to the left. So we'll talk about ways to um, avoid any type of making an impact on an object in a tail swing accident, uh, ways to look out for your tail swing uh, so you can avoid an accident and things like that. So um, we'll start out with an example of this uh, video um, of a driver who had a tail swing accident in the parking lot. What happened was, in this scenario, he was pulling up to a business to make a delivery in a shopping center. Um, now, what he should have done was just stay in the drive parked and put his hazard lights on and just made the delivery and been done. But what he did was, instead, he was trying to get out of the roadway, um, you know, just trying to do the courteous thing to make sure his truck wasn't in the way uh, of any other vehicles that were driving through the parking lot. However, it wasn't necessary, which caused this accident to be preventable. Uh, but what happened was, there were uh there was an open section of parking spots uh where there were no cars parked where he basically was kind of swinging the truck kind of swooped in there uh to park in that area to get himself out of the roadway unfortunately it wasn't a big enough gap and what happened was he swooped in with the front end of his truck and when he swung back to straighten his truck out he did it a little too soon and what happened was it caused the back bumper of his truck to make contact with the front bumper of a vehicle that was parked in that spot. So now what are some ways that we can prevent having a tail swing accident? As I said, whenever you make a turn, your tail swings to the opposite direction. So if you make a left turn, that means your tail swings to the right. So the best way to keep an eye on your tail swing while making that turn is if you look at your right mirror. Likewise, if you're making a right turn, your tail swing is moving to the left. So you want to look at your left mirror when you're making that turn. So that way you can watch your tail swing and make sure that you don't make impact with another object like a vehicle, um, a pole in a parking lot, or even a pole in the terminal as well. Um, if you're ever in question about what you're looking at, maybe there's a blind spot, you can't quite see or tell what's going on in the mirror, stop your truck and get out and look. As we've said many, many times, G-O-A-L, goal, get out and look. It doesn't matter if you're in a hurry to get to a delivery or a pickup. Fact is, if you don't take the time to stop and get out and look when you're not sure, it's gonna take you longer to take care of those stops if you make an impact with a vehicle than it would be if you just stopped, got out, and made sure that you had clearance. If you get into an accident, you end up having to spend extra time having to take care of the accident, get all the information that you need from the other customer, so on and so forth and that's a lot of time wasted that you didn't have to do simply because you didn't get out and check to make sure you had clearance also something to keep in mind at the station whenever we're leaving in the morning our trucks are parked in very close proximity to each other and we're driving much longer vans than what we used to drive in the past and many of us are driving p1000s p1200s and we really we have much longer tail swing on our vehicles than we used to as a result so the main thing to keep in mind is whenever you're pulling away from the belt in the morning and dispatch, you always want to look and make sure you're completely clear whenever you make that turn once you've pulled away from the belt to make sure that you're not making any contact with any other vehicles that are parked next to you um, at the belt line. Um, so again, like I've said before, watch your mirrors and get out and look if you're ever unsure. Um, one other piece of equipment, of course, we have that backup camera um, that you can watch as well don't get any rush there's no rush to pull out quickly even if it's a late dispatch i know we want to get out there and get our jobs done but again there's never any excuse to rush when it comes to safety so um, especially behind the wheel so that is another tool is looking at your backup camera and just kind of slowly watching to make sure you're not making any contact in that way as always if you have any questions about anything make sure to contact your aobc and they'll be here to help you with anything you need thanks y'all have a great day have a safe day